Soul Summit. Relax your physical eyelids until they are closed completely. Soften from your forehead all the way down to your jaw. Relax your throat and glottis, the opening just above your vocal cords. Tune into your breathing and relax into it. Slow and even inhalations and exhalations through the nose. Soften through the chest, shoulders, and diaphragm. Your limbs are relaxed and heavy. On every exhalation, you sink a little deeper, becoming a little heavier. Your body is peaceful in its density. Observe your mind. Begin to release your attachment to whatever is running through it. Allow it to fade to black. Now, even before your mind's eye opens, you're hit with a blast of cold air. It's windy where you are. In fact, that's all you can hear. It envelops you in whistles and howls. Though you feel that it is cold, it doesn't bother you. It is like a memory more than a sensation. You open your mind's eye now. You are high up in the atmosphere on a snow-capped mountain. You are surrounded by mountains, but you are standing on the highest summit. You feel completely at ease. Your wings twitch slightly and you feel confident in their ability, even against the persistent wind. Your entire body vibrates with strength, in fact. This physical form heals efficiently and effortlessly. You do not know chronic pain injury, or sickness in this body. The dawn is beginning to break, but it is behind you. The snowy mountains before you begin to light up, reflecting the sky's colors. Above you, the cloud tops are aglow in a soft orange. Their underbellies are still in shadow, though. The sky beyond the clouds is a light blue. This is one of the safest and lightest pleasure planets in this universe. A sense of serenity fills you, and your heart suddenly receives a shock of joy. In response, your wings begin to beat. They move like those of a hummingbird, and you take flight, ascending straight up, up, and up. The mountain peaks appear very small now. You could go all the way up, past the exosphere, and even into outer space, if you so desired. But instead, you hover in place momentarily, and you bring your hands to prayer at your chest. Inhaling to lift the chest, you begin to tilt your head back until you are dropping all the way back in an arching movement. Your wings stop beating and you begin to free fall in your backdrop, a smile on your face. Mmm, the wind feels good against it. Still in your free fall, you begin to draw in a long inhalation. The air is fresh up here and you hold your breath full at the top, pausing for a moment before exhaling evenly through the nostrils. The oxygen is thin at this altitude, but your second set of lungs holds enough to keep you sustained for hours. Any more air you take in is simply for the sheer enjoyment of tasting it. Just before reaching the summit, your wings take action, gracefully flipping you right side up. You land, feather light. Even though you seem isolated, you sense that you are not alone. Aha! A moment later, your keen vision catches movement in your peripheral. Your soul group is arriving. These souls come back with you around the same time in nearly every life, and some of them on every planet. Usually, you reincarnate together on Earth, but Earth, it's so dense, and sometimes you all just need a break from the heaviness. And anyhow, this time, you all wanted to remember. Your soul group flies in around you, touching down lightly in a cluster, their wings hum in harmony as they descend with control. They look towards you fondly and then at each other. Their warmth radiates over you. Everyone is smiling. Some exchange slow blinks like happy cats. Your soul group in particular is quite large, but there is always a much tighter inner circle closely connected to you. 
some literally brushing up against you right now. Your very inner soul group has been with you since the beginning in every single life. These souls will often take physical forms as your most cherished people, your lovers or your closest friends. Life to life, it can mix up. Directly beyond them, you see those souls who manifest as your friends, family, as well as your teachers. You're all each other's teachers, really, for you help each other work out karmic lessons collectively as well as individually when in physical form. In between lives, where your souls are whole and healed, you study and learn from those lessons together. You all turn to face the sun over the horizon, relaxing your eyelids down. The warmth of the sun softens your face and you find a mellow smile on your lips. Communication is telepathic in these bodies, but in unison, you all start to create a gentle and effortless hum at the back of your throat, but only on the exhalations. Inhaling and exhaling through the nose. Mm. taking breaks whenever you need to. Your group is all in their own breath and the soft humming becomes continuous like waves in an ocean. The frequency of the vibration that your unified voices create together emanates peace, deep, healing peace. Slowly, begin to tune into your physical body at home. Draw a little more awareness to your breath. Begin to wiggle your fingers and toes, rolling out the ankles and wrists. On your next inhalation, extend your arms up overhead, maybe hooking a wrist. Take a full body stretch like you're just waking up. Alternate between flexing the heels and pointing the toes. On your next exhalation, Curl into a ball. Give yourself a little hug and maybe rock side to side if that feels good. And slowly, drop to whichever side is calling to you. Using your arm as a cushion, bring your knees in as close as feels good. Flexing the backside open. Take several deep and mindful breaths right here. And from here, it's your choice. You can stay down relaxing, or you can come up to an easy seated position. Thank you for your time and participation. Peace and love.